First of all, a very good afternoon to all of you present here, all the distinguished guests, and uh, my deep regard for the Vinaris and my deep respect for all the soldiers who have laid down lives, their supreme sacrifice, to protect our nation. They have laid down their lives for the integrity and sovereignty of India. So Jai Hind and Jai Bharat for them. I feel completely for them because I belong to this fraternity. When I stand before you today over here, I bring with me the rich legacy of my family. The family that has served this nation for the past four generations. Granddaughter of Srimati Padma Sharma Sathika, who was a Swatantha Senani and an active member of INA, Indian National Army in pre-independence era, led by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. And while she was a young girl, I remember when we were growing up, she used to narrate the stories how they used to help India under the British rule to help in the Indian national movement. After the independence, when India got freedom, she got married and she was so driven by the enthusiasm and for the patriotism of our country, she started writing poems. And one few lines which I still remember of my, I, we used to call her my Dadi Ma, and she wrote it beautifully and it is still always in my heart. Mera parichay itna hai, main Bharat ki tasveer hoon. Mera parichay itna hai, main Bharat ki tasveer hoon. Matra bhoomi par mitne wale, mat walon ki peer hoon. उन वीरों की दुहिता हूँ मैं, उन वीरों की दुहिता हूँ, जो रण प्रांगण में जूझ गए, उन शेरों की माता हूँ, जो हँसते हँसते झूला झूल गए, मेरा परिचय इतना है, मैं भारत की तस्वीर हूँ, मात्र भूमि पर मिटने वाले मत वालों की पीर हूँ। These lines, as I was growing up when I was a child, it was embedded in my heart and we used to listen to all those glorious stories of heroism under the British rule and how she, along with her friends, led to the Indian national movement and helped India get freedom. Then a daughter, I'm the daughter of a war veteran of 1971 war. My father, Colonel Subodh Kumar Sharma, he was posted in Kolkata at that time, and we used to, my mom used to stay in Barakpur. Way back in 1970, we were not even born. But then we have heard the stories. My dad was posted, now which is called as Bangladesh, but earlier it was East Pakistan. And my father was G3 Intelligence, 32 Infantry Brigade, and the Joshua and Kulana sector, which was there in Pakistan, they were asked, they were given that task to capture those territories. And finally, they were able to do it, which is now called as Bangladesh. My heart goes out to the soldiers, actually, who have laid down their lives, and I feel so deeply for them, because I am a silent soldier. I'm, I'm an army wife. My husband is still serving this nation. He's Brigadier Amit Kumar, who is presently posted in Southwestern Command in Jaipur. Thank you. And I feel so greatly, because, um, when you talk about these 25 years, actually I have lived those 25 years because my son, who is now a young captain in the Indian Army, that was the time when I was scaring him. And how can I forget those days, those days of uncertainty and unpredictability when my husband was actually deployed at Op Vijay in the borders. And um, I was scaring my son that time. So when we say 26th of July 1999, my son was born on 28th of July 2000, 1999. And I have seen that time, that painful era where we used to see soldiers coming back in coffins 
it was a very terrible sight and carrying my son along all alone my husband was not there of course he was deployed that was his first duty and actually i feel so proud for that and when my son was born somehow i always feel that you know he had a soul of some soldier who has come through me and he grew up he really wanted to be something else never he thought of joining the forces but somehow after 8th and 9th standard he started watching movies like lakshya and border i'm sure you all must have watched those movies and i used to tell him beta your first round of lakshya he was little lazy earlier so i used to tell him when are you going to become the second half of lakshya he said mama wait one day i will make you proud and there he is he is joined forces as an armored corps officer the tank man of indian armed forces so this is what has been my story and um, i feel really privileged and proud to share my story and uh, i really want you young people the young india who's sitting right across in front of me children you can dream and you can reach out to the stars it's just that you really have to think from your heart whatever you want to do you can achieve in your life be there for your nation serve your nation because we are indians and i feel happy to be a silent soldier and wedded to the olive green and a proud mother and a wife of still a serving officer thank you so much jai hind jai bharat well i just forgot to tell you all something children uh, about myself because i'm so motivated by my family i forgot to speak about myself so i'm also an educator a mentor an administrator from the line of education and i'm a certified public speaking coach and als trainer and in 2021 i won the crown at the national level as mrs india and i was also given the title of mrs elegant and since then i have been part and part of the jury members for various platforms and i groom all the pageant girls and also i am associated with two ngos one is seva and the other is iwi and we keep on doing lots of work for the underprivileged children for empowering girls and also giving them free education Thank you so much.